Uh, we were just off the mark, um, you know, it was just one of those days where we weren't good enough at our, at the basics of what we, what we need to be good at, so, um, you know, Scotland brought, brought what they brought, but, you know, we weren't good enough. And that bit's been said already among Owen and Jamie that we've spoken to about how it might have been all the more difficult for you guys, particularly the Saracens Collective, to hit the ground running after a disrupted few weeks is there any truth or any trucks of that um i think our preparation is our preparation um I, we all we all felt pretty good going into the game um but it is what it is um the situation is the situation there's not really too much we can do about it at this stage we just have to um just concentrate and move forward is one of the more sort of concerning elements the fact that england try as they might could only get about 25 30 um, as I said previously, we we weren't we weren't good enough today, um, and it's one of those situations where, as players, we just need to roll up our sleeves and get back to work on uh, on Monday. And emotionally, as a result of that, then Maro, um, how difficult will that be, or how much togetherness and kinship is there for you guys to hit straight back hard and get back into this championship here next week? Um, well, I think you know the the team, the core of the team, has been together for a, for a few years now, and it's uh, it's very tight. Um, you know, we are gonna stay together. We are gonna um, stay strong and be there for one another. Obviously, today didn't go our way, but as I said, um, you know, tomorrow is we're in control of what happens tomorrow. So we'll control our our destiny and um, and move forward. Yeah, yeah, Scotland, um, congratulations to Scotland, um, they, they hustled hard, they fought hard, um, you know, they were, they were deserved winners. Thank you. Thanks. Duncan, we'll come to you next, please. Thank you. Emma, um, uh, last, last year you, you lost to France in that first game and then rebuilt and went on to win the championship. Do you take any comfort from having been here before? Obviously you didn't want to lose today, but you know that you can rebuild from this position. Um, yeah, I think t today is, is just obviously what, is ha what has happened has happened. Um, today is all about uh, what, sorry, what happens next is the most important thing. And, you know, I think the, the, we, got, we got the power in, in our hands to behave how we want to behave and move how we want to move. And, and um, you know, we can take steps forward. Um, obviously, today is a tough day is a day that um, is a result that none of this team wanted for sure. But um, it is what it is and we, we will learn from it and move forward. Thank you. Thanks. OK, if there's no further questions, we'll leave the live press conference there. Thank you. Um, we will end the call now as well. Thanks for everything, guys. We'll see you next week. The uh, media advisor will come around tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. In 2019, cameras followed the Brisbane Boys College First 15 during the most anticipated season in their history. We don't have a great record of success out of all the GPS schools. We haven't won it since 1954. No team's ever won an outright premiership at BDC. One, two, three, five, the season documented the team as they fell agonisingly short of their maiden outright title. What a hit! You can't throw it out, it's a penalty! Stop, you could have won! But in the fragmented year that followed for sport, the BBC story was not quite complete. Join us for the final chapter of a victory 100 years in the making.